Hey, we bought 30 pounds of oysters. We've been eating them raw. We've been eating them char-grilled. And now I'm going to make some fried ones. These are going to be full-on spicy. I'm talking armadillo pepper spicy buffalo oysters. I'm going to cook these buffalo oysters in a plow disc, or what some folks call a discata. Let's get this sauce going. Got a stick of butter here. Medium high. As soon as it gets close to melting, I'm going to turn it down to medium. Butter's getting close to melting. Let me get this heat down. Actually, I'm going to turn it down medium low. Traditional buffalo sauce uses Louisiana hot sauce. I'm going to use this, you got it, Frank's. Now, how much Franks am I using? This bottle is 12 fluid ounces. So I use, I just poured it in, approximately half. And I'll show you why we're only going to use half in just a minute here. All right. Now, the next ingredient, let's put in one teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. Dried garlic. Let's heat that up and get it all blended in. The next thing I'm going to add is some onion powder. I would say a teaspoon and a half of onion powder. Now, traditional buffalo sauce, quite frankly, is not hot enough for Tammy and me. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add the rest of that Franks in here. I'll put these exact measurements down below. That's a whole 12 fluid ounces of the Franks. Now, I'm going to come back in here with some butter also, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm making this buffalo sauce for two reasons. For these wings, and I'm also making some fried oysters. I'm going to share this same buffalo sauce recipe. What I've got here is the newest armadillo pepper hot sauce, Carolina Reaper. That's right. That's why I don't use that Frank's. Because if I'd have used just the Carolina Reaper, They'd have been way too hot. I used half a bottle. That's a five ounce bottle. Now let me go inside, get some more butter, whisk it in. This sauce will be ready. One more stick of butter. Trust me, with that Carolina Reaper hot sauce, you'll want this butter. It's going to be super hot unlike traditional buffalo sauces. You can certainly make up your own batter, but when we buy 30 pounds of oysters, you know, what's another $2.99? So I like to get this Louisiana Cajun crispy fish fry. By all means, use the family recipe that you already have. I'm gonna use about half of that bag what I've got here are some Texas Gulf Coast oysters that have already shucked. I think there's about a dozen here, maybe a couple more. You don't need to dip them in egg or butter or whatever. They will coat up quite nicely, just like this as you can see. Now what I like to do is come in here with this heaven made amazing Cajun. I know we already have a little mix in there. But I really like the flavor of this. It just kind of kicks up this mix. It's going to flip each oyster over just season the other side. I mean, we're probably not using a teaspoon, a tea, teaspoon and a half. 
Looks like we did miss that one, huh? I've got this discata set on high. Just going to pour a little vegetable oil in there. I don't know how much that is, maybe a cup. And we'll let it start to heat up. We're starting to get a little bubbles here. I think our oysters are ready, or I should say, I think the oil is ready. Probably goes without saying, but you want to be careful. You don't want to get those fingers in the oil. That would be a bad day. I've got this discata set on high. Propane's all the way open. I'm gonna leave some good space. We'll do these in two batches. And you can see it doesn't take long. What was that? 15, 20 seconds maybe? Having a hard time getting that one turned over. Now we can actually turn this discotta down a little bit because it's getting too hot. How about that? Golden brown, let's get them out. Get the rest of our oysters in here. Probably got the propane open now, I don't know for sure, maybe two thirds. Turn that heat down just a little. You can see they're not cooking as fast, which is good. Just a few seconds on that side. Let's get these turned over. I can't wait. That's it, let's get these guys out. We've got our buffalo sauce here. Now, if you're a sissy, just drizzle the sauce on them. But I've got Tammy's gonna come join me for the taste test. We're going to do a full on buffalo oyster here. Like I said, you could drizzle it on there if you wanna be a sissy. Just going to coat each oyster. Let them rest here for a few minutes so I don't burn my mouth because I'm very good at that. I'll go get Tammy and we'll do the taste test. Lovely Tammy's here to help me do the taste test. I always come to eat. These are full up Buffalo Reaper fried oysters. I love oysters. Well, pick out the one you want. I want all of them. Well, you can't have them all. I want this one. All right. Hey, look, this one looks really good. I'll take this one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Amundo. It's a million <laughs> degrees here in Florida. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Those are good. Those yummy, good. yummy, spicy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That buffalo sauce is awesome. It is good. And messy. <laughs> down my finger. Really spicy now. I told you if you're a sissy, drizzle it on because I use the Reaper. It's got that Cajun flavor going on in the background. <laughs> oysters, these fresh <laughs> Texas Bay oysters are just incredible anyway. It's like they melt in your mouth, mm. don't you think? And they're spicy. And they're spicy. Right. You hear Tammy say <laughs> they're spicy? Mm, my heart's a water. Thanks so much for watching.